What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to rebuild the starter today. Um, I actually had to go out my 95 went out, this is out of the 95. <clears throat> I actually already rebuilt this one. Um, I actually taken the parts out of this one, this is out of my Mustang. It's a spare I had in the shelf, but uh, if you notice, the bodies are the same in the back. It's just the front is the only difference between them and the mounting holes but uh, basically well and the solenoid is different too but um, not a huge deal basically when you rebuild these things 98% of the time what goes bad is the brushes sometimes your bendix will wear out but uh, most of the time it's your brushes that get uh, just worn out now I already had taken these apart and I actually had swapped the brushes from this starter to this one but I'll show you how to do it though so you basically take your starter and on the back there's going to be four bolts. I had lost one but there's uh, two that are a quarter inch, two that are five sixteenths. So what you want to do is you take out these two bolts, well all four of them. Now your two five sixteenths or eight millimeter bolts are very long that's these okay this is what the uh, quarter inch looks like okay with that removed you have this cover here this cover is going to come off a little hard to do with one hand, but uh, and this is the back of your starter. This piece here is where your brushes are located. Now, this right here, this wire, you gotta take off. This is a 13 millimeter or a half inch. You take this little nut off. Okay. Shit. Well, that didn't work out the way I was hoping it to. Um, but basically, when you do that, that wire will come off. When you do that now, you basically just pry up on this. Now, I kind of took this apart, not really wanting to do that, but um, you can pull this out. These are your brushes. These brushes, you can tell, are worn out, especially the one at the top left right there. The new ones, while well, the ones that are good that I put in the other starter, were just way, way, way bigger than this by a lot. But you can actually go out and just buy this piece off Amazon, wherever your parts place is. Um, if you actually want to replace them, this is the actual brush right here, these pieces. If you actually want to go in here in depth, you can... Uh, Remove this little clip, you pull up on it. It's really hard to do with one hand. Basically, you pull up on this clip, this piece comes off, and then uh, all these little brushes can just get popped out. They're all soldered with this copper, so if you actually want to rebuild this piece yourself cheaper, you can just simply get copper wire that's wound like that, and then just solder it to actual brushes. Now, you can buy this whole assembly just like this, and just remove and replace your starter, and then you're back on the road. Mine, I'd hit it in order for it to uh, engage again. That's because that brush right there was just so worn out. I mean, they're all bad, but that one particularly is just like gone. There's nothing left of it really. Now, when you put this back in, though, you'll notice on that rubber piece, there's like a rounded part, and a flat part. You want the flat part to the top. So you put it back in with the round part down. Now when you put it back in, you'll notice that the brushes hit the armature. You gotta push them in. They're not under a lot of tension. Um, this one is so bad I can do it with my fingers. But you basically need to just push it in and then you start working it around. And uh, it'll just go on and you can just push it down. 
again two hands much much easier to do it with but uh let me see here if I can get you guys on something to prop you up. Using my cell phone here for my video. Here we go. That'll work. So basically, if you take a little pocket screwdriver, just push in these. They're on springs. Now you want to line that part up there. Might take you a few tries, but uh, once you get them in, though, they uh, usually will go in fairly easy. Uh, There we go. And you see, now it goes down, and then uh, this piece right here just goes flush on there. Now, this actually came out, so we're just gonna put this back in. Um, not 100% sure this one in here. I'm thinking like that. We're just gonna go, oh, well. Okay, I guess I'm really sure to rebuild the starter, so that's how that piece goes. On this for the Bendix has little gears with little needle bearings. So uh, you can simply do that, and then this will simply go back over. Except for it has to go like this. There we go. Now, I will admit this is a little bit uh, tougher the second go around. Did not mean to push all these out, but these little lineup pegs got to go in a certain place. And these, I wonder if this is backwards. This might be backwards. I did not take this whole thing out last time. So, cub dy, this is a little messed up. Don't know if this has to go in like that. I would imagine it's got to go in like this. Okay, yep, that seems right, just like that. And then this, in theory, boy, I tell you, I'm just not having a good day with these. Let me tell you what. Let's try this for the third time now. I tell you, doing it myself without being on camera, very, very easy. As soon as the camera's on, I mess everything up. Okay, let's try this again. So we put it in like that. Now we simply go like this. There we go. So now it's all together. And now that should work. Now, when you have it together like this, your cover has this little notch. You want that towards the bottom. Okay. Just like that. And this thing is not one to go back together, right? Let's see if we can. Okay. So either way, I'll show you the back part to get this to kind of go together. You put in the little quarter and screw first, the two, and then that connects the brush part to this. And the long screws will go through. And they would go through this part here. Come on. Like that. And then your other screw would also go in 
like this. So basically on the back, so what you'd have like this, you know, and then these get threaded in to these holes. I think my gears are just not aligned right because they're not wanting to go in there. So it's one downfall to having something fall apart before you have a chance to actually measure and look where it all goes. Um, I want to say okay we got her lined up now what you want to do is screw these big screws down these are also 5 16 or 8 millimeter if I didn't say it before But, uh, you know, this saves you a lot of money because instead of spending X amount of dollars on your start, you can buy, buy the um, brush kit for it and then fix yours. It's just a lot more cost effective. And if you're cheap like I am, it really helps your budget. And you can use your other money for, you know, something else you do. Okay, so now you got that all tight. Looks all nice, and now uh, the other part is your wire here. Just simply goes on like this. You take your nut, you screw it all the way down. Um, I got my brushes for the start, so I'm not going to finish it up. But basically, you just tighten it down. If you're reusing this, well, I should, okay. On your new brushes, this piece will be clean with the little you know your power tab but if you're using a used set like I was take and clean it off so it's nice and clean and then uh, that's all it takes to rebuild the starter um, I wish I had better camera ing but uh, yeah basically though it's not hard I'm not a rocket science or anything like a rocket scientist or anything but to literally just take off four screws and then a nut and I place a set of brushes. Now your starter, you know, is good to go. This one right here for my F-150 that I fixed or rebuilt. Uh, you can see where I clean that stuff all off on there. Uh, you know, off Amazon they have it for 50 bucks, which is cheap. But if all it needs is brushes, you know, I just did this for free. This cost me zero dollars to replace it with brushes off a used starter I had on the shelf. And I can put it in quick, and then my truck is back up and running. So, just kind of a nice thing to have uh, to know. So if you want to rebuild your starter, you know, even if your armature is bad or something, the gears wear out, you can buy a rebuild kit for a starter. None of this stuff's hard to do. When I took this front piece off and it fell off, there, those three gears in there have needle bearings in them. If those go bad and it seizes up, like when your starter drags, that's usually what happens is those bearings go bad. Well, you can buy a bearing set for this or, you know, the, the gear set for it. Put those in here and some new brushes and you got a you know, fully rebuilt starter. Your solenoid here is simply as two screws also and then you know a back connector and it pops off so if your solenoid goes bad you can get a new solenoid put on there and done so just want to show this to you guys hopefully it helps you guys out uh you know if it does like share subscribe really appreciate it want to get uh, more subscribers and stuff but i'm really here to help you guys out if you have any automotive questions or any kind of questions about stuff let me know i was a auto tech for a lot of years still ac certified do diesel stuff now, so if you have any diesel or automotive questions, let me know. Uh, I'd be glad to help you. Thanks for coming and looking at the channel. Uh, have a late Merry Christmas, early Happy New Year's, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.